Hi, this video is for reviewing the configuration steps and parameters for configuring an active active effects topology with two Nexus 5Ks and one Nexus 2K. Um, the prerequisites that we will need in order to, con to build out this setup, of course, we're going to need two Nexus 5Ks, we're going to need a Nexus 2K, we're also going to need all the necessary cabling um, needed to connect all the devices. Along with that, uh, we need certain features enabled. Um, and in the primary Nexus that I have here, I have the following features enabled. I have EIGRP, Interface VLAN, HSRP, LACP, VPC, and FX, along with LODP and Telnet. For the most part, the ones that we're, we're interested in are the VPC the and the LACP along with the FEX, and in my case I'm using the interface VLAN feature so that I can have IP addresses or layer 3 interfaces on the Nexus on the Nexus 5K. So what we did is we built some VPCs, and let me just show you that right now. We built a VPC, um, the VPC domain here is 123, and the Pure Keep Alive, that, the Pure Keep Alive link that we're using is the management interface and on the one it's 99 and on the other one it's 100 so in the configuration for the VPC we have our VPC domain we also have our peer keep lives and I have an auto recovery command now when connecting the Nexus 2K back to the two 5Ks I've used the primary and secondary ports on the Nexus 2K to connect to Nexus 5K number one, and I've used ports three and four to connect to Nexus 5K number two. In configuring these, what we're going to do is we're going to take this pre-built configuration that I have, and the, the, the Nexus 2K on those ports is connected to ports seven and eight on each Nexus 5K. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll take these configuration and copy them to our 5Ks. Go into Conf T and we'll paste in the first configuration. And in this case, what we're doing is we're using FEX number 102. We're assigning or we're opening up the interface configuration for ports 7 and 8 on my 5K. We're creating the channel group 102. Then we're going into the interface port channel 102 and adding switch port mode fax fabric. We're creating a VPC on that interface, port channel 102, and we're associating the fax to that. So in sense, in sense, we've made one port channel 102, assigned it to ports 7 and 8, and we've associated the fax to that. At this point, our fax should be coming up. So let's do a show fax. So I already had one fax connected, where I did this once before. We now see that we have our second fax as connected, and it should go through the process of downloading the information and upgrading the image. Now that we've done that on the primary, what we want to do is go over to the secondary, or Nexus 5K number two, and copy in the same configuration. Using the same ports is also key. It makes it a little bit easier to manage and maintain. Let me turn off this. And I'm going to paste this in again. It probably already worked, but there was too much garbage there. Just doing the same things that I did before. And let's do show effects. And as you see, I'm on number two, and it shows that it's downloading the image. If I do the same command from number one, it shows it as connected. So now it's downloading the image for the fax. This is the configuration for um, an active active topology. Some things you might want to note, and I'll show you an example of this in the configuration for my primary fax. Every time you make a change on a port on one of the faxes, you want to make sure you make the change on both. 5Ks, 
it is recommended to do this. And in some cases, I've seen problems where connectivity does not work unless you have both. And on top of that, if you have a failure and you don't have one port configured on one side and you do have it configured differently on the other 5K, you'll run into some issues. Um, I think that's it. Um, post any comments or concerns um, and you know, I'll see if I can get back to them. Thanks.